Oh hello guys, so I have decided to do once again a little experiment and I have installed the immutable version of the Fedora that it's called Fedora Kinoid and I just, well I was curious and I wanted to see what is this all about is it really for me, can I live on it for a while can i game on it for a while so in this video well i will go over all that so let's get to it okay let's first see what exactly is this immutable os or desktop and how really it works and my understanding of immutable desktop is that this is immutable linux operating system or also known as immutable infrastructure or immutable deployment basically is an operating system designed to be unchangeable and read only this means that once the operating system has been installed the system files and the directories cannot be modified which could be bad could be good depends on how you see it but any changes made to the system are temporary and lost when the system is rebooted think of it as a snapshot of standard linux system that cannot be changed i think this is the most interesting part of it but if you update and any updates or changes that are made by creating well basically after you update you create or made i don't know how exactly this works actually but this looks like a new instance of the os and when you reboot you basically switch to this new instance and you have totally new system once I was reading about it, there is pretty, <laughs> pretty interesting part because every time you update your system, you don't update single components or software like, let's say, the basic regular Fedora and stuff, and you update the whole system at once, and that's why when you reboot you have basically new image or new instance they call it of the system well let's see now what are the advantages and why some people prefer to use that kind of a system basically the first one i see is the immutable system it's more secured because the root file system is mounted as read only preventing any changes to the system file and configurations again this could be bad could be good depends how you see it most people see it as a security well <laughs> security positive for this system also writable layer that basically means that any changes that need to be made are done through a writable layer that sits on top of the read only root system this layer can be a temporary space in memory or a separate partition the immutable linux helps improve the security by preventing unauthorized modifications to the system files it also enhances stability because the core system remains consistent across reboots. Well, if you have been using the regular spin of Fedora, the KD1, and if you look basically at this system, you can't really tell the difference and this is understandable. Well, the basically, the differences starts when you start using the system okay so 
let's start from the beginning but before we do that i really just want to say this is not going to be a review of the distribution this is just a quick well not that quick but a quick view go over what i did how i use it for well i've been using it for a while now i think it's been a week or so so let's get to it First, the installer, if you have been using again Fedora, you will not see any difference. This is the same Anaconda installer, which is, well, basically understandable, but nothing special here, nothing to see actually. Yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty standard Anaconda installer. You have seen it before, nothing special here. It's pretty self-explanatory. You create your user. Actually, it's not well. Come on. And you begin the installation nothing special again you have seen this before so i'm not gonna go too deep into that now after the first update and reboot the the next thing i needed to do is of course of course find and install the rpm fusions for uh, this immutable desktop with the os3 which is well pretty well written i was <laughs> i was expecting to be a little bit more difficult but i was wrong but here again after finding it installing it well you guessed it i needed to reboot and i did reboot once again and once again after the reboot so i have already rpm fusion enabled free and non-free now i finally could get and install the nvidia drivers that i needed i did install them well at least i thought i did install them at least correctly you will see later in the video that this is not exactly the case but anyway so i thought i already have installed them and you guessed it reboot again and this started to get really annoying really fast <laughs> i guess this is how an, an immutable desktop works but after using the rpm os3 doesn't matter if you just update or if you want to install even a really small program like let's say htop you have to restart the system in order to use that uh, in order to use that application or program they call it a totally new image of your system as we already mentioned well i guess you don't really have to reboot the system right away but if you want to use that application well basically <laughs> you have to update right away and this is one of the things that i don't really like but we will see later now here while i was waiting for the installation to finish i have decided to start and customize my system well pretty basic just from the settings and appearance select the team that i like and well install it well here the immutable part started to kicking me once again in order to install the specific team i needed to allow the installer to download and unzip the files which is not really possible here i guess because immutable system means no writing on the disk <laughs> after that i have decided to finally start installing some software that i need and by the way this version comes with well the bare minimum which i really like 
because most of the KD versions are well pff, they have so much software that I don't really need and use but anyway so this of course is done with the flat packs and flat packs only which is pretty easy to enable the flat hub repo on the discover software and use it after and the good news here is that after installing a flat pack application you don't have to keep restarting which is well <laughs> awesome of course i really like that Usually when setting up a Fedora install, the regular Fedora workstation, let's say, installing the NVIDIA drivers is just enough. But here it took me a while to find out why, why my NVIDIA does not working. You can see me trying to launch a game which is not really happening and when it's finally happening it's so choppy and unplayable so i was like uh, wondering what the hell is happening here and finally well it took me a while like i said but here there is a line that you definitely need to remove the novo drivers that eventually started with the system and this is interfere with the NVIDIA drivers so I did remove them and eventually my system and my NVIDIA driver started to work correctly or at least as expected Now when you finally pass the initial setup installing software or using the RPM system for one reason or another that is well done with the annoying reboots it's turning to be a pretty good system I think so far I have been using it like I said for a week and it works ok even under Wayland Kino it works pretty good and the gaming is ok as you can see right now but I think I'm not gonna stick with this system I started counting some really annoying bugs or well, I don't know, this is how the system works or maybe I did something wrong. This is, well, again, possible, quite possible maybe, I don't know. But I started losing some sound. I need to reboot to recover it. Uh, my default microphone does not work or does not work correctly. This, what I'm using right now, it's a spare one that I have and sometimes when you try to close an application it does not really close or does not really close quit correctly and this well it's really annoying for me at least but we will see I might use it for a few more days give it another chance we'll see about that ok guys so this is my first impressions of the first time using an immutable desktop I've been using it like I said for a week I've been living for on it I've been gaming with it 
I've been doing some basic stuff that I usually do and now editing a little video and I'm not sure that I'm gonna leave this for another week or so we'll see soon enough I guess so that's it from me for today and I'll see you guys in the next one bye